Good afternoon. Dialogue with devils, huh? I um I made a couple of references to this to in some previous videos. I stumbled across um I was looking up something about the Lion of the Tribe of Judah. And I came across through that some a whole thing of this I've mentioned this before about this whole category of these Christians um, that which I gave my time to you know to watch and um, it's just it's like wow wow how could anyone how could anyone truly save be involved in it anything anyway here on YouTube there is this subcategory of Christian I'm not a Christian, by the way. I am a saint of the Church of the Living God. There's a difference, okay? I am not a Christian, all right? But the Christian, these Christians that I have encountered, and like I said, I have, I'm, I'm not interacting with them. I'm just looking, watching what they're doing. It's like, wow. And they, there's a link between them. And this link is that they are their father, the devil. But there's one in particular that I noticed who I think might actually be a Hebrew, a Jew, okay? But these people that I've been looking at do live streams and they engage in debate. Debate. You look in the scriptures about debate. It's not favorable. But they will also set up these live streams where there are multiple people on there and then they will get into these discussions. Um, some having very radical different views and opinions. I've seen some of these now where they're yelling, swearing, cussing at each other and just like what what and it's like well Brad that, that's debate um, besides entertainment what good is a debate okay what good is a debate you know please get your authorized version of the scriptures please follow me along word for word verse by verse at the scriptures we will be looking at the Iberian search the scriptures daily whether these things be so Follow me along, okay? Follow me along, make sure I'm telling you the truth. Make sure I'm not taking anything out of context, okay? Be a Berean. Search the scriptures daily, whether these things be so. Follow me along because sometimes the mouth goes quicker than the brain, okay? But this thing about debate, Romans chapter 1, verses 28 on to verse 32. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murderer, murder, debate. Deceit. Malignity, whisperers. <laughs> I've seen with these Christian live streaming people, uh, I guess you could call them, I have seen mudslinging that would make Democommies and Republicans happy. That the, you know, Democommies and Republicans would be like, oh wow, that they, they ought to run for public office. Really? Really? And these, these are Christians. They are. They're Christians. I don't think they're saved, but that yeah, they're Christians. Okay? Backbiters. See a whole lot of that going on. Haters of God. You're a Christian, you believe in Jesus. Yet you wear things that pertain unto a woman, smoke cigarettes, the other one's yelling and screaming and swearing, 
insulting, threatening people, always pointing the finger. Come on. It's entertainment. It's theater. Okay? Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, departing from evil, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Debate is not a good thing. And we as the church, the saints, church of the living God, it is not our job to debate anything with someone who, number one, doesn't want to hear, number two, has made their choice, and number three, is an affront to the Lord Jesus Christ to begin with. That's not our calling. Okay, we are there to be planters of seeds, to be examples, to preach the truth. They don't want to hear it. And if they're going to just ask a foolish questions where they don't want to hear the truth, but just ask questions to begin strife, that's, that's not what we're supposed to do as saints of the church of the living God. But you know what some of these people do? They, they'll be like, I, I've, I've watched this. The, okay, these two guys will get together and have totally opposing viewpoints. And they'll have a discussion. But at the end, what, what, what becomes of it other than fleshly entertainment? Nothing. One isn't swayed to the other side. And in that, that thing, that crawling thing, the live chat, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay? <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. But see, and the one that, I, that I've watched quite a few of, who I actually think is a Jew, um, he, he's lost. I'm tempted to say the channel name, but I'm not going to. Um, this guy, I think, is a Jew. Okay? Um, he's against the authorized version of the scripture. Okay? Uh, he is totally against the authorized version of the scripture. He says that, well, it's the best we got, but it's not perfect. And then he goes to the, to the originals. It's like, hey, you go away, you devil. But he's, a he's talking and having correspondence with all people. That's what Jesus did. Uh, no, Jesus was sent unto the Jews only. Okay? Okay? All right? And he was preaching to them to repent. But see, when I've also noticed that in the comments section of some of this guy's on his channels, there are people just ripping him to shreds, and he makes cute little, well, thank you for uh, trying my faith, and he abides them. He, he goes, he, you know, he, it's like, he suffers them. Why? Why do they do that? Because what he's doing is, He's trying to apply doctrinal principles that are for another dispensation today. What am I talking about? He's uh, uh, applying the Sermon on the Mount for today. Love your enemies. So when you get someone who doesn't want to hear the truth, who insults you, okay, and sends you things, links, that offend you, offend Lord, the Lord, but yet you're going to be okay with it because you're showing love to them and you don't block anybody or you don't do anything with, you know, all are welcome. Okay, think about that. Think about these Christians who want to have dialogue with uh, all these different people and whatnot. Um, no. No. Okay? It's church building. Church buildings say all are welcome. Okay? You don't invite lost people amongst yourself. Okay? You don't bring the lost into your fellowship. Okay? Now here, see, online, it's a different thing because lost devils can watch these videos. But see, when you come to a live stream, um, you don't know who's watching if they're saved or lost. Okay? I understand why some would do a live would do a live stream. I understand, but ultimately, 
You know, how do you know in that, uh, what is it, that live chat? How do you know who saved or lost? Huh? And then in the live stream, the live chats, you get the, you know, debate, uh, deceit, you get conflict in these things. It's like, what, what is this proving other than entertainment, man? What is it? What is it? But see, the, and this guy that I, I'm thinking of, okay, he's got, he's trying to imitate Christ. It's very subtle what he's doing. Okay, there have been, he's, he's inviting in to discuss. He's inviting in people who have heretical views, while he himself, I don't think, is saved. Okay, but he, he's claiming to be a Christian, and he is. He's not a saint, I don't think. But anyway, he's inviting these people in, all these people. And these debates and these things happen, and uh, these uh, conflicts online Nothing for but for entertainment's sake. But yet, you know, you know, don't don't shoo away anyone who would come to you, right? Trying to apply the teachings on the Sermon on the Mount as for today, doctrinally. Hey, the Sermon on the Mount is not doctrine for us today, pal. You want to know how to love your enemy? Tell them the truth. And if they don't want to hear the truth. What in the wide world of sports entertainment are you going to do? Why are you bringing these people in and having fellowship with them? Or dialogue? It's going to be a cold day in Chadez if I'm ever going to have any dialogue knowingly where the other one isn't using deception with that idiot from England. Okay? It's never going to happen. Never going to do that. I wouldn't have fellowship with uh, some certain people from Canada. Okay? I wouldn't. There's no way. It's like, no way. Alright? But yet, these Christians who are imitating Christ, well, we, we don't reject anyone. We love everybody. We want to hear all these things. Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. Let's, let's start there. Because, see, like I said, a lot of these people I've noticed, they like to go to things that doctrinally, doctrinally, are for the kingdom of heaven. While there is instruction in righteousness, yes, but they, they, they seem a lot to do that. Uh, like I said with Matthew chapter 7, which is coming. Okay, but these things came up before that, and I'm, that one's working. Okay, but they come to, they like to seem to gravitate, even though a lot of them don't like to mention it because it'll be obvious about the Sermon on the Mount. Love your enemies. Do good to those that persecute you. Okay. Um, hey, Mr. I'm not going to say that guy's name. Okay. <laughs> You love your enemies today by telling them the truth. When Jesus said, love your enemies, do good to them that persecute you, that's because the king is going to be on the earth and they're going to have to answer to the king themselves personally. Okay? What you are doing is you're taking the doctrine of the kingdom of heaven and trying to apply it doctrinally today. It doesn't work. And hence, you're making... You're making the Lord look bad. You're not saved yourself, okay? But you're making the Lord look bad. And you're a Hebrew? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But Matthew chapter 10, listen, okay? We are to go out there and to preach the gospel unto the lost. But if someone rejects it, doesn't want to hear it, it's not our job it is not our duty to argue to debate with them to try to sway them to our side did you hear what i just said to our side no that's not what we do because if we do that what are we doing to sway them to our side no no we are ambassadors for christ 
having the ministry of reconciliation and the word of reconciliation. And people don't want to hear it. Matthew chapter 10, verses 12 on to verse 15. And when ye come into an house, salute it. Now remember, this is before the death, burial, and resurrection. Okay? Now this does cross in dispensational lines, and we're going to look at it, but, okay, even thus, but, remember, okay, they're not, our Lord himself, look, if they don't want to hear you, don't entertain them. Don't bring them into your fellowship. Don't bring them into your whatever. Okay? Why are you, why are you people doing that? It's entertainment. It's ecumenical. It's veiled ecumenicalism. Where's my pen? Veiled ecumenicalism. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, that's what it is. And they're like, well, we, we're not judging anyone. We, you know, everybody is welcome. More on that in a bit. Okay? Well, let's keep reading. And when you come into a house, salute it. And if the house, house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Okay? Accountability. See, that's the thing today. You hear the gospel of Jesus Christ, okay, the gospel of salvation, the death, burial, and resurrection, the bloodshed on the cross, okay, and you reject it, you're a child of wrath. God's love is not for you. God's wrath is for you, okay? All right? It is. You've heard the gospel. You've rejected it, okay? Early I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment for than, that for, than for that city, okay? They don't want to hear it. It's not our job to take the scriptures and bludgeon them to death over the head when they don't want to hear it. Okay? All right? All right? And Mark chapter 6. Mark chapter 6. The, the people, okay, the people that I've witnessed doing this, they call themselves Christians, and they are. I don't think any of them are saved. But they're... The interactions they're having. The, you would never see me ever in one of these large streams uh, with people who I knew were lost. With people who I knew were contrary to the doctrine uh, for today. Okay? We are to be like-minded. Never, would never, I mean knowingly. That happened before in the past. Okay, by some sly devils who think they're real, who think they're perfect and condemn everybody else, them, themselves, these perfect English creatures, of course. But, you know, you wouldn't catch me dead bringing in, like, having uh, dialogue with some people from Canada or some certain people, uh, especially ones from, uh, one from England or certain others, you know? No. No. Not at all. Not at all. What, what, what fellowship has light with darkness? Okay, and what's going to be accomplished? Hmm? Like it says, uh, uh, oh, hold, hold your place here. Like it says in Proverbs 26, uh, Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou be wise in his, uh, unless he be wise in his own conceit. One second, please. Uh, sorry about that. Proverbs 26, uh, verses 4 and 5. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. And I've seen a lot of that with these live streaming Christians who call in. To, they're like acting like whores. They take on everybody. No one's excluded. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also become like unto him. Verse 5. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. 
And that's the, their thing. It's like, ha ha, I got you to go down to my level. Ha ha. We saints, the church of the living God. Okay? Watching a video, I can't help who watches it. Okay? That, whatever. I know lost devils watch these videos. Brethren watch the, these videos as well. Okay? But see, when you open yourself up to a live stream like that, you don't know. You don't know. It's, it's, it's dangerous. Okay? And, come on. I know of the, the, the guy from, what's, you know, what's his name? He does one every once in a while. That, dude, you know, no. No, I myself once did a live stream on this, on the channel here. And I deleted that. I think I did anyway. Uh, it was, it, and of course, that one idiot uh, under the myriad of channels that he can create in a, uh, in a moment came and did some her heresy, but I expect that. But see, that, that opens too many doors for the wrong people to come in. It, it's, it's not fruitful, okay? It's not. The only fruit it sows is to this. Now you're not entertained. Matthew, Mark chapter 6, verses 7 on to verse 12. And he called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits, and commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only, no scrip, no bread, no money in their purse, but be shod with sandals, and not put on two coats. And he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into an house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, It shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. They went out and preached that men should repent. <laughs> what, 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 what fruit would there be if, for example, did a live stream with a Jesuit, with a Roman Catholic? Okay? What fruit would there be for me to have a live stream with uh, evolutionary atheists. And what do they do? These people re will resort to child tactics. Well, you're afraid, aren't you? Uh, no, I'm not afraid of any man, thank you. <coughs> I'd give you a salute with a finger, <laughs> but I don't, I don't do that, okay? <laughs> but, no, it's not a thing of being afraid. What fruit would it bring? What, what fruit would it bring? Okay? What fruit would there be if, you know, a debate between a creationist and an evolutionist? Well, you might, well, look at Ken Hovind. Ken Hovind's a Jesuit. Okay? Okay? Yes, I've seen that. And what about Ruckman? He, he did that, he did that, um, that uh, one debate with that one Catholic guy answers or whatever and Catholic or whatever and uh, okay and yes Ruckman he he trounced that Catholic but see it was fleshly it was entertaining okay what was the fruit okay what was the fruit yeah Ruckman did trounce that Catholic yes but see, one side wasn't swayed to the other. That Catholic guy was amongst, you know, Ruckmanite people. There were a couple of Catholics there, too. But overall, it wasn't people of one mind. Well, they were all interested in truth. If you're a Catholic, you're not interested in truth. You're not. You're not. You don't know if you're saved. You don't know if you're going to go to heaven if you die. Because that's the sin of presumption. When the authorized version of the scriptures tells you, you can know you're going to go to heaven when you die. Okay? If you're a Catholic, you don't want anything to do with truth. 
It's all about tradition. Oh, what makes you feel good? Okay? All right? What, what, what fruit is there? Okay? What fruit is there? None. Except sowing to the flesh. And are you not entertained? See, that's the thing with these people that I've watched. Okay? I, I've watched. I, I tried. And then I, I got the scriptures. And it's like, but okay, you guys are just busy yelling at each other, insulting each other, and when you do the scripture thing, no, you're not comparing scripture with scripture, but you're just buttonheads and arguing with each other. Well, we're discussing to derive at the truth. No, you're not. You all have your father, the devil. All right? You all have your father, the devil. Mark chapter 6. We, we already read that, okay? Matt, Go back to Matthew chapter 18. And see, another thing that these people will do, they're calling everybody Christian. They're everybody's, well, hey, everybody's saved, right? They're calling everybody brother. Who's my brother? And see, this, this happened to me, where some devil who works for the Vatican was out, and then he's like, they say, they go to Matthew chapter 18, right? And they quote this. Verses 15 on to verse 17. And this is what these uh, live streaming Christians do themselves. Okay, this is what they do. It's like, well, yeah, everybody's a brother. You know, well, you're my brother, you just disagree with me. Uh, you're my brother who doesn't believe in eternal security. You're my brother who believes that we got to keep the law to stay safe. You're my brother who uh, believes that the Christians are going through the great tribulation. Uh, you're my brother who believes that the it's faith alone from Genesis on to Revelation. Uh, no, that's not your no. You're not my brother. Okay, no, that no. How can you be like-minded with someone like that? They have their father, the devil. Okay, no, that it's, it's, it's crazy. But then, but hey, everybody's their brother, even though you we disagree on the main doctrines for us today, found in the Pauline epistles within the New Testament of Scripture. Uh, but yet, you're my brother. You're my brother. If you've come to the Lord Jesus Christ broken, contrite, and in fear of the Lord called upon his name, and he saved you, and you're sealed until the day of redemption. Now, we make mistakes. We, we choose, make dumb choices. Yes, we do. But see, the Spirit of God that dwells within the saint of the church of the living God, that, that chastisement and correction is going to come. And if you are saved, and you're going to mess around, the Lord is will hand you over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh. But see, if none of that is there, and you're all the while saying, I love Jesus, and you, you're, <laughs> come on. Give me a break. Matthew 18, verses 15 on to verse 17. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Brother. Who's my brother? Someone who is saved. Okay? Oh, you're saved because you could... Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Jesus is the Lord. No. You're saying, well, I just believed and received. No. Okay? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm a Hamite. Therefore, I'm elect. Or I'm from England and I'm elect. Or I'm a Calvinist. Elect and I'll... No. No. You're my brother if you are saved of the Lord Jesus Christ. You went the way of the cross. Okay? That's what makes us brethren. The Lord Jesus Christ. Not because you say you are. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word shall be established, may be established. And if he neglect to hear them, tell it unto the Christians, but, <clears throat> excuse me, and if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church, but if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. 
one too many of these live stream Christians that I am seeing, that I have seen, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to watch them that much anymore because it's just, it's a waste of time, okay? Everyone's a brother. Everyone's a brother. Except someone coming around saying, uh, hey, you guys are heretics, okay? <laughs> you know, they would call me, they wouldn't call me their brother, and praise the Lord because I'm not their brother. Okay, I'm not, nor are they mine. Okay, <laughs> not at all. But see, they take those things from the Sermon of the Mount and try to apply them doctrinally today. You love your enemies by telling them truth. You don't love your enemies today by bringing them in and having five hour live streams with these people. That's, no. No, and besides, the devils do that, want uh, save people to do that so that they can trip up the save people and make the save people look bad. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay? Acts chapter 13. Okay? Well, that's just, uh, that's just uh, you know, that's just for the Jews, right? Well, Acts chapter 13. Acts chapter 13. Verses 44 and verse 52. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. Which you see in these live streams uh, all the time. It's a, it's a, it's a pageant play that you see these things. They are useless waste of time. The only thing that it gratifies is the flesh. And we're we're not supposed to seek things that are on earth, but those things that are from above. And those things in these live streams are earthly sensual devilish. Come on. Okay? Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, it was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Greek is a Gentile, okay? But seeing ye put it from you, and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. So did Paul and Barnabas, Paul, who was a Hebrew of the Hebrew of the tribe of Benjamin, did he, when they didn't want to hear and were contradicting and blaspheming, did he come up with our argument, go back and forth, back and forth? No, he's like, all right, you go, you go ahead and you, you trust in your own heart. You go ahead and believe yourself saved and because you can utter whatever. You go, or believe that you're elect and not elect or believe that you can lose your son. You go right ahead. Knock yourself up the doses, light another cigarette, slam some Hennessy. Go right ahead, pal. I'm out of here. You've heard the truth. You rejected it. Goodbye. I'm gone. Let's see if someone else wants to hear. Okay. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light to the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to life believed. Now that, that's not Calvinism, ordained to life. That is not Calvinism. Again, uh, the link for Calvinism in the, uh, in the, in the description box will be there for you. A scriptural refuting of Calvinism. Okay, never mind. And the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women. Yeah. Oh, I've seen some of these uh, Christian women. You know, women who are not supposed to usurp authority over the man. One woman who was rebuked for teaching, but yet will go through scripture to try to say that what she's do, doing isn't really teaching. <laughs> Poor creature. But the women. Who did Satan go after first in the Garden of Eden? Eve. Where was Adam? Why wasn't Adam around? 
Why wasn't Eve around Adam? She was a help me, wasn't she? Let's continue. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and, and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them out of their coasts. But they shook off the dust of their feet against them and came unto Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. Shook off the dust. It's like, okay, I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. Okay. And uh, uh, Acts 28. Acts 28. Acts 28. Acts 28 verses, I can't read my own writing, 23 on the verse 29. And this is Paul in Rome, not Peter. Crazy. And when they had appointed him a day, there came many to him into his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets, from morning till evening. And some believed the things which were spoken, and some believed not. Okay? And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed. After that, Paul had spoken one word. Well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah the prophet our, unto our fathers, saying, Go unto this people, and say, Hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. And of course, what is he quoting from? He is quoting uh, from Isaiah, I believe it is Isaiah chapter 6, he is quoting, okay? I will, if I got that wrong, uh, one of the brethren will put something in the comment section. For the heart of this people is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Be it known therefore unto you that the salvation is God, of God is sent unto the Gentiles and that they will hear it. Okay? And when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had great reasoning among themselves. Okay? We are to witness to everyone whom the Lord will send us unto. Okay? But you know the, the three parts of witnessing, which will be in the uh, which will be in the description box of this. Okay, but if someone doesn't want to hear, if someone is just bringing up arguments and asking questions to bring up strife and debate, oh, get away from. Them. Okay, they've heard the truth. They reject it, and rather that, and rather, not only have they rejected it, but they want to kick dust at you and make you look like a fool as well. well. We are fools for Christ's sake, according to them. Okay. Titus chapter three. Titus. Okay. Now this is being in regards of fellowship. Okay, like I said. You're not going to see me on a live stream. You're not. Yes, I have been in a live stream before in the past. Uh, by someone who was, at the time, was deceiving people. But has long been since, you know, that's why, yeah, whatever. But you'll, I'm not going to be in a live stream. No way. What, we, what, what me and my brother Alexander Hartley, our brother do, we do that through Skype and we upload it. You know, that's, you know. Uh, Bread of Life uh, podcast, okay? But these things that these guys are doing, anyone is there leaving the link so anyone can just come in? It's a trap! And it sows to the flesh and not to the spirit. But Titus chapter 3. Titus chapter 3 verses 9 on to verse 11. But avoid foolish questions. And in so much that I have seen, the questions are foolish. Fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Foolish questions. Asking questions from, some, from someone who says in their heart, there is no God. Foolish. Okay? Alright? 
asking questions whose answers they don't want to know. They're just asking questions to start strife and debate. Okay? Those are actually, the longer you walk with the Lord, those are easy to pick out. Especially when you answer them, and then they, they repackage it, and then ask the same question. Get away from people like that. Get away from them. Okay? These are the same people who are like, well, we need fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. Uh, the Lord is within you. Okay? But as far as fellowship between true brethren, uh, the Lord will put people in your life. Okay? The Lord will put people in your life. Okay? All right? He will. He will. Just like with these devils. But then again, they're amongst their own kind. See? I'm telling you, watching and trying to sit through some of these live streams that I've been watching, um, it, it's just like, wow. Wow, talking over one another, and I mean, constantly, and, you know, just basic decorum. It, it, it's just horrible. Just horrible. You wouldn't catch me dead with any of these people, man. No way. No way. Anyway. Uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, verse 9. But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions, comma, contentions, comma, and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. Okay, all right, you're a Christian, and you're going to bring in a Catholic, or you're a whatever, and you're going to bring in whatever for debate purposes, or what? What? They're unprofitable and vain. What are you doing? Nonsense. Okay? A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject. Okay? It's like, okay, dude, you've I, one, two, I told you the truth of the gospel, showed you the scriptures. But he's like, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? I, wait a minute, man. I told you the truth through the scriptures. You don't want to hear it. And not only do you not want to hear it, but you're being contentious. Okay? Striving. Okay? I'm out of here. Bye. D -d 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 don't worry. I won't let the door hit me in the buttocks. Don't worry. Bye. See ya. You go run along and play with your little playmates on the playground and call each other, you're afraid of this. They're children. Children of wrath. Okay? And we are to grow up. You know, Paul, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I spake as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Okay? Now, hey, we all make bad choices. And some of these devils are very seductive and can get you. They know how to press your buttons. But you know, when you run across one of these devils like that, you know, the one thing that you can do to irritate them the most? Ignore them. Ignore them. Even though they make every uh, uh, effort to show you, look, I'm talking about you. I'm doing this. Come on. Whatever, dude. <laughs> He says, I hope those cigarettes make you cough and go to hell. Should go any time right now. Brad, that's not loving. Why would I want to have fellowship with someone who has made their choice serving the Vatican? Okay? There comes a time when someone will cross the line of no return, people. Okay? We are to avoid those types of people. They don't want to hear it. They've, been, uh, they've heard the truth. Okay? As the testimony against them. Okay? Walk away. Walk away. Okay? <laughs> the Titanic is going down, people. Doors are still open. Don't waste your time with someone who doesn't want to hear it. Don't waste your time with someone who is contrary to everything while all the while they're a Christian. Don't waste your time. 
Don't waste your time trying to tell them uh, the difference between a Christian and a saint. They're vast! Okay? Leave them alone. They're the blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, they're going to the ditch. Okay? All right? A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he, knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth being condemned of himself. And of course, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 3 on to verse 5. Okay. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, comma, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, instruction and righteousness about what our Lord, the example that he gave, for our instruction and righteousness. Yes, but remember, okay, when he's talking about loving your enemies in the Sermon on the Mount and stuff like that, in context, that's for the kingdom of heaven when he's going to be on the throne. Okay? Your enemies during the kingdom of heaven, which is all works, there's no faith involved. Um, it's like, <laughs> dude, you're going to have to deal with the Lord. Okay? Who am I in comparison? You know what I mean? That's, you, you, you got to remember that. Okay? But our Lord gave examples on how to suffer for righteousness' sake. Okay? Look at the crucifixion. Look at about those, those Pharisees who should have known who he was, but they didn't. Okay? Look at what he suffered at their hands. That's the example. That's the, uh, the doctrine according to godliness that Paul is talking about. Okay? Of how to withstand and stand against persecution. That's what we get from the Lord. Okay? Let's continue. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railing, and evil surmisings. That happened to me a while ago with someone um, where it was, it was just a circle and they were accusing me and then finally the light came on. It's like, wait a minute. I clammed up, shut it down, that was it. It's like, wow, wow. Okay? <laughs> Look, you're charismatic, or Catholic, or Calvinist, hardcore, don't want to hear the truth. Well, King James is the best we got, but it's not perfect. And it's like, oh yeah, we got to earn our salvation. Oh yeah, the whole scripture. I, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. And because you've made your choice, you're in God's hands. <laughs> God have mercy upon you. Well, let's continue. He is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strifes of words, Whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings. Perverse disputing of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. Now, like we've talked about before, right away, when you think of gain is godliness, you think about the do-re-mi, and then you put into that the uh, Kenneth Copeland's, the T.D. Jakes, and stuff like that. But that's not the only type of gain there is. Some of these people with these live streaming channels, views, popularity, okay? Public opinion, how they look in the eye. That which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. You are those who justify yourselves among men, but God knows your hearts. And you can look at the, uh, the video that was done previously on the other channel about that. About that. Um, uh, the one that we just did, okay. So, excuse me, writing that down so I don't forget, okay. <laughs> All right, brethren, people, you have to remember it is not our job 
to coerce someone. We are to be witnesses, examples. Living the gospel, not preaching the gospel. We make mistakes unless you're some perfect creature from England or something like that, or some perfect creature from Canada or whatever. Okay, but we make mistakes, we make stupid choices, we make bad decisions. Yes, we do. We do. We have moments when we behave as if we're hypocrites and act hypocritically. Yes, okay, yes, we do. Yes, we do. The difference is we're saved. They're lost. We are not to coerce people. Just be witnesses. Okay? Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Just one verse. Matthew chapter 7. Like I said, that's that's being worked on, but um, that will come. Okay? But this, this came up uh, ahead of time. Matthew chapter 7, just one verse. Verse 6. You know, with this one guy, and I saw in the comment section of this person, just link, link, and this guy who is trying to live up to the Sermon on the Mount thing, I'm sure, um, it's like, I wanted to comment, like, dude, when does it, okay, obviously not dispensational, okay, <laughs> but when does this come into play for you? Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. There comes a time, people, when even, we've talked about this before, when, okay, you don't want to hear it? I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. You've been given seeds. You've been given a testimony. You've been given a witness. You've heard it. You've rejected it. It's on you. Bye. Like I said, don't worry. I won't let the door hit me in the buttocks on the way out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There has to come a time, especially with, with these people, man. Ah! I'll give these devils this. There's no way I could stomach that. There's no way. There's no way. And with some of these live streams, uh, I've seen uh, some of them can set it. So you got to subscribe to the channel in order to comment and whatnot. But with some of these people, they'll let you remove a comment. They'll make a, a channel just to leave a comment. And then you can do that really easily, you know. But anyway, 2 Corinthians 11. 2 Corinthians 11. Verses 12 up to 20. 2 Corinthians 11. Verses 12 on to verse 20. Again, I'm not saying that you don't preach unto the lost, not at all, but, you know, when it comes to trying, you know, when someone is dead set in their ways, and they're refuting you and arguing with you and being contentious, um, walk away. Walk away. 2 Corinthians 11, verses 12 on to verse 20. But what I do... That I will do, that I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion, that wherein they glory, they may be found even as we. Infiltrators, that they may be found even as we. They seek occasion. Let's have dialogue. Let's have dialogue. Let's let's open up dialogue. We want to watch out for these guys who throw that word dialogue around like that. Watch out for that, okay? Let's let's have let's have discussion. I'm not going to talk with you, okay? We have nothing to talk about. We are not like-minded. We have two different fathers. I'm not even doing it. You could go take a long walk off of a short beer, okay? Not having. All right. My name is Brad, not Karen, okay? <laughs> For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And who's my brother? <laughs> you are if you say you are. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> you go, boy. <laughs> and no marvel, 
For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. I say again, let no man think me a fool, if otherwise yet as a fool receive me, that I may boast myself a little. See, boasting yourself, Paul likens, likens it unto foolishness. Okay? Paul who had a pride problem. I myself who have a pride problem. Okay? <clears throat> that which I speak, I speak it not after the Lord, but as it were foolishly, in this confidence of boasting. Seeing that many glory after the flesh, I will glory also. Oh, see, I, I'm not judging anyone. All people are welcome. Yeah. 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 I liken that on the hoarding. You uh, people, you Christians who do your, all you do is live streams and just uh, invite everybody in and so you can conflict and debate and entertainment. Uh, you're of your father, the devil, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. You are of your father, the devil. Okay? And hey, you, you know, holiness. Shouldn't be doing that stuff, man. But who am I, right? <laughs> uh, seeing that many glory after the flesh, I will glory also. <laughs> For ye suffer fools gladly, seeing ye yourselves are wise. Ah, right there. Well, everybody, we invite everybody in. No one is excluded, right? <laughs> no one is excluded. We, we're not judging you. No, we, we want to, we're dialogue. Let's discuss this. There's nothing to talk about with someone who has made their choice and is serving the Vatican. There's no discussing that. A babe? That's a different story. But what I've seen, these people that they get on these things, these people are entrenched in their heresies. Okay? Forget it. Forget it. No. No. Okay? No. There are other ways to have fellowship where you don't have to involve everybody else so you can puff up people's flesh. No, what are they doing? They're suffering fools gladly seeing. Ye yourselves are wise. A little sarcasm there. From Paul, you guys are wise, right? But yet, you have suffering fools? These church buildings, all are welcome. You don't invite lost people into your fellowship. You who go to the lost and tell them the truth, that the Lord may save them. Then, sure, you're saved. Let, let's go have some lunch. Let's talk a little while. For, you know, let's, let's go, have, let's go uh, get a shake or something like that. Okay? Hey, hey, let's, let's take a walk. Okay? You, you say, oh, well, praise the Lord. Let's go talk a little while. Okay? Talk. Let's go have a burger or something. Okay? Then bring them. Verse 20. <laughs> for ye suffer if a man bring you into bondage. If a man devour you, oh, I've seen a lot of devouring with some of these. If a man take of you, if a man exalt himself, wow. Wow. If a man strike you, uh, smite you on the face. Now, of course, they can't do that through the internet thing, but they, they can do that with their tongue. I've seen, the, I, I have seen 19 and 20 personified in many of these Christian live streams that I have watched. It's disgusting. And I'm going on the record and saying it. No one of the Church of the Living God ought to be involved in such. Well, you're a coward. You go ahead and smoke them cigarettes until you croak. Okay? You go ahead. You go ahead. You and your little buddies. Go right ahead. 
you go ahead and say that. Go, yeah, go ahead, little boy. Uh, isn't it? Uh, isn't recess almost over? Uh, isn't it time for milk and cookies? Give me a break. Give me a break. Okay. Second Corinthians chapter six. And here it is, ultimately. Okay. Remember, I can eat what? Well, Paul went amongst them. Yes, he did. But did he? Okay, why did Paul go amongst people like that? To preach the gospel, to be a witness. Did Paul take on to himself being what they were in order to win them? No. God sent Paul to people to preach, to witness of the gospel onto these people. But as we have seen, when people weren't going to hear it, did Paul stick around to try to argue with them? No! He disputed through the scriptures. Yes, he did. But there came points where Paul was like, forget it. Okay? All right? All right? Yes. There were times, yes, Paul disputed with them with the scriptures. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But there reached a point with that where Paul, even Paul himself, was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm out of here. This is not working. This is fruitless. See ya! But not with these Christians who do this. It's never ending. That's all they're about. And ultimately, 14 on to verse 18 in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Or what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? Or what agreement hath he, or what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them, and walk in them. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Okay? What? Why? Why on earth, personally, would I ever want to do anything like that with some of these people? That's, that's insane. We have two different fathers. Okay? God lives within me. And with the majority of the ones that I've seen, I don't think any of them are saved. They're Christian. Okay? I'm not giving you these names because that's kind of what they want. But you'll, you'll come across some of these and you'll watch them and it's like, you'll, you'll, you'll go away from it and it's like, Okay, you had the scriptures, it, th this hardly came into play, and when it did, they weren't expounding or edifying or anything, no, but they were just using it as a weapon to attack each other. Hmm, interesting. Okay? Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. First Corinthians chapter 5. This, this is what these guys are doing. It's, it's obvious. Okay? It's, it's, wow. Wow. Yeah, you think you're being all high and mighty, suffering fools gladly. Huh? What are they doing? They're doing what Paul rebuked the Corinthians for. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 1 on to verse 7. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you, and such fornication as not as is not so much as named among the Gentiles that one should have his father's wife. His father's wife, his stepmother. If it was his actual mother, the Lord would have told us. So his stepmother. <laughs> okay? What were the attitudes of these Corinthians? The attitudes of these Christian live streaming people. And ye are puffed up! And have not rather mourned because they suffer fools gladly, right? They, anyone can come in. Let's discuss these things. No. 
Here, do you want to hear the truth? I'll tell you the truth. One gospel track, I'll give you a gospel track. Okay, you want to hear something? You want, yeah, let's go through this. Okay, okay. You, all right, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to have anything to do with it. Fine. Oh, 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 now I'm a what? Okay, okay, fine. I'm out of here. That's it. Okay, we have two different opposing uh, viewpoints. Okay, all right. Granted, may be interesting to hear where they're coming from. I'll give you that. But when it comes to the faith that was once delivered onto the saints, uh, our God is very exclusive. Okay? Our God is exclusive. There's no wiggle room there. Okay? When it comes to the faith that was once delivered onto the saints, uh, no, I'm not budging. I'm not going to. No, you go away. Okay? Yes. And ye are puffed up, and have not rather mourned that he that hath done this deed might be taken away from among you. We're not judging you. Everybody's welcome. Like in church buildings. Anyone, here's the link for it. You can get it, and I'll bring you into the stream. Give you your ten seconds of fame, so I can make you look like a, a horse's rear end or, or something, or entertain... We're not judging you. All are welcome. Anybody can come in. I'm sorry. That sounds kind of horrorous to me. Well, church buildings are phallus houses. You know. Oh, Brad, you, yes, I did. <laughs> Brad, you're not showing much love. Jesus Christ doesn't save you. If you don't go to Him, His way, you're going to die and go before Him. And if He hasn't saved you, you're going to go to hell. And you're going to burn for eternity. And all the while thinking, well, I just believed. Oh Lord, I was elect. <laughs> Unless the Lord save you, you're going to hell. That's showing you love. Showing you hate. It's like, ah, don't worry about it. You just believed. You're safe. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you shouldn't do that, but don't worry about it. Go on. Live it up. You know, oh, we can't all be perfect unless you're from... Never mind. Okay? That's hate. Unless you come to the Lord on His terms, broken, contrite, and in fear of Him, call upon His name. Unless he saves you, you're going to hell. You cannot boot the door and climb up some other way. You're a thief and a robber. Okay? But see, these people, all are welcome. Just like the church buildings. For I verily, as absent in body, but present in lowercase as spirit, have judged... Oh! Paul judged? And again... These people have a big problem, you know, pointing out that they're, they're, everyone's a hypocrite except them. And, you know, don't judge me. It's like, come on, guys. It's so obvious. But see, what's their target? See, these people's targets are babes and lukewarm people. Church buildings and religion is there to teach the lost religious things. That's all it's about. Christianity is to teach religion onto lost people. Not for salvation, because what is Christian is not the faith that was once delivered onto the saints. Okay? Paul judged. Yeah, we are to judge, because man is not capable in and of himself of judging righteously. God is. And we have the word of reconciliation and the ministry of reconciliation. Okay? Okay? For I verily as absent in body but present in spirit have judged already as though I were present concerning him that hath, done, that hath so done this deed. <laughs> in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ! 
when ye are gathered together in my spirit with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ to deliver such a one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus get, get, get out of here you're not saved we're not like minded we, we have two different fathers go get out or we have the same father you're in sin you're messing up look we've talked to you dude look this is what you don't want dude fine okay look I love you 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 hit the road Jack get out of here get your glorying is not good know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump nothing but leaven with these people Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Okay? And 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 19 on to verse 22. <laughs> and this is what these people do. They, they're, they're whorish. You're a bunch of whores. Taking everybody both ways. And then no one's exempt, huh? And in their argument, well, well, you're stuck up. Come out from amongst them and be separate. Go to the lost and preach to them. You don't bring them into fellowship with you. <clears throat> Verses 19 on to verse 22 in 1 Corinthians 10. What say I then? That the idol is anything? Or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. But no, remember, everyone's a brother, right? Because they are, they are because they say they are, right? And see, here it is. These guys want both sides. They want their cake and eat it too. You know, like mentioned in the previous video, okay, um, Solomon tried to play both sides. It's either or. You can't have both ways. Okay? But see, that's what these devils are about. They're telling you, hey, just believe. And you can have both sides. You can have your little sin because, remember, you don't have to be too extreme. Okay? All right? You can have your little sin, but don't, but don't worry. You can have, because God understands. And that's the mentality of a lot of Christians. <laughs> Let's read that again. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. You can't have it both ways. Even though a lot of you try. You're either or. Solomon tried it. Who had at his fingers the disposal to do anything he wanted. That man could have bought anything he wanted. He had a thousand women at his back. Think about that. Anytime, forgive me, Anytime you're feeling squirrely, oh, I want that one tonight. I want that one tonight. I want that. And <laughs> look what happened to Solomon. Can't have it both ways. Verse 22. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? And apparently some of these people, they think they are. Okay? And, and Colossians chapter 4. Colossians chapter 4, 
verses 2 on to verse 6. Colossians chapter 4, verses 2 on to verse 6. People argue, well, we have to answer all their questions. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Colossians 4, 2 and 6. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving, with all praying also for us, that God would open unto us the door, a door of utterance, to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bonds. The mystery of Christ. What is that mystery of Christ? That us Gentiles are grafted into the tree of the Jew. Okay? You read that about that in Ephesians chapter 3. Okay? But to speak of Christ. Okay? That I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Pay attention. Walk in wisdom, the fear of the Lord, towards them that are without, those who are not saved, redeeming the time. All you devils that I watched, unfortunately, you owe me collectively about eight hours of time. And I can't get that back. Oh, that's, that's kind of what, you know, when you, that's kind of stuff that you got to do when you're in this kind of position what the Lord has put me into unfortunately okay Ugh. anyway walk in wisdom the fear of the Lord towards them that are without redeeming the time these people claim to be saved but yet there's no difference between them and the world especially when you hear them speaking okay we're supposed to be walking in the fear of the Lord in front of those who are lost. Redeeming the time. And it's a waste of time when somebody with most of these guys when they're talking because all they do is argue and bicker and nothing gets accomplished except the entertainment, man. Let your speech be always with grace. Grace being favorable. Okay? Seasoned with salt. Salt burns. Salt also preserves. That ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. See where it says we ought to answer how you how ye ought to answer every man. What does that mean? When someone comes around in a contentious way after you have told them the truth and even showed them scripture and they're bringing up, well, what about this? What about this? What about you? Ha <laughs> you can't. How you ought to answer that person? Zip. What, don't you got nothing to say? Oh, you can't answer it, can you? You're afraid. Nah, 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 nah. Like they're kids on a playground. So zip it up. How you ought to answer every man. Answer not a fool. Answer not a fool according to his folly. Lest thou be like unto him. Okay? The Lord will tell you. Oh, I've been in so many situations where things were talking, where we were talking, and then the Lord's like, Brad, shut up. This guy doesn't want to hear it. Yeah, you're, you're right. Thank you. And I'll, I'll just climb up. I've, I've, I've had that before. And it's like, well, don't you have anything more to say to me, huh? No. And the one guy is like, no, no, you've said enough. <laughs> or, or you think I need it, huh? You think I need this? You know? <laughs> you hear someone say, like, uh, I know all I need to know. It's like, what does that mean? It's like, I have already made my choice. I don't want to hear it. Okay. All right, man. You want to go? I'm okay. You don't want to track? Okay. Fine. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. And guess what? Not every man should you give an answer on to. Just sit there and if, you know, get away, do whatever. We are not to answer every single question. 
questions that come from someone who genuinely wants to seek truth with seeking, seeking the Lord, that's different. But like I have encountered on so many occasions, especially with, especially with a lot of Muslims, especially with a lot of Muslims, and of course these Christians, Atheists, they'll do the same, but I'll give atheists credit for this. They'll be like, dude, you're, you're, I don't believe that. That's my answer. It's like, fine, I don't want to hear. It. They'll go away from us. It's like, good, go, go, go away, go away. Hopefully you um, evolve into something better, <laughs> okay? I will have more respect for an atheist. And Christian. I will. I will. Even though they get on my nerves and they, 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 they're crazy, um, with, with a lot of the atheists that I've encountered, um, either they will reach a point where it's like, dude, I don't believe that. I don't want to hear it. Okay. Okay. I'm done talking to you. Talking with you. We're not going to. It's like, yeah, I know. Okay. We're, I'm done too. Okay. Fine. And go on their way. Okay. Others that I've encountered, you know, answered some of their questions, they went away. Whatever. These people who call themselves Christians. Keep keep going. Keep keep dialogue. Let's keep dialogue. Keep the conversation going. First uh, Peter chapter three, verses fifteen and sixteen. Here's another one that these people like and take out of context. 1 Peter 3, verses 15 on verse 16. Sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you the reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. The hope that's in me. The hope that's in me. You want to know what the hope that's in me? You want to know what the hope is in me? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. First Timothy chapter one. First Timothy chapter one. First one. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the commandment of God, our Savior, and Lord Jesus Christ, which is our hope. Sealed unto the day of redemption. Sealed with the Holy Ghost. And the Lord is that spirit. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. This is not saying that you answer every question. No, it's you answer when those people who ask you the reason of the hope. Why? How can you be so calm? What's? Why do you... Well, how can you be so sure that when you die you're going to go to heaven? Uh... Can I show you in the scriptures? How do you know Jesus is even alive? Uh, because he lives in me. Can I show you in the scripture? That. It doesn't mean that you answer every question. Because people will ask you questions just to cause strife. And a lot of you brethren and even sisters know that already. Verse 16. Having a good conscience... That whereas they speak evil of you as evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. Like, I'm not going to answer that. I'm sorry, man, I don't got to answer that. You can answer it, can you? You, you wouldn't even want to hear the answer. Yes, I would, no. no you wouldn't. You're just afraid. <laughs> Kids, children on a playground, man. That's what these devils resort to. <laughs> it's not funny. But they are. They're children of the devil. Ultimately, brethren, we always have to keep in our minds and in our hearts. Wow. That's what happens when the Lord has me to do two videos in a day. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 on to verse 7. Not, not yet, yeah, no. 2 Timothy chapter 3. Excuse me. 2 Timothy chapter 3. Verses 1 on to verse 7. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. 
for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, pleasure is more than lovers of God. Some of these guys like take pleasure in starting all this arguments and stuff. Pretty perverse. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, laden with sins, led away with divers lusts. Ever learning. Never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as many of you may or may not know, I'm, I, you know, we, we witness, we track, we talk to people, absolutely. But, you know, there comes times when you just got to walk away and say, wow, you want nothing to do with it. I'm out of here. Ezekiel chapter 2, verses 3 on verse 8. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. For example, witnessing to charismatics who believe that, you know, you got to speak in tongues and be baptized in water to be saved, or Catholics, Calvinists, non-denominationals, you know, witnessing to Christians, they they think they're saved, okay? <laughs> For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. Not, you know, they've been witnessed to. Someone was there to hold them accountable through the scriptures. Okay. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither there be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee. Briars and th thorns choke the word. Right. And thou dwell, dost dwell among scorpions, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Thou shalt speak my words unto them. Whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear, for they are most rebellious. But thou, son of man, Gotta be like the world to win the world. Oh, shut up. A thousand men. Hear what I say unto thee. Be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house. Open thy mouth and eat what I give thee. Come out from amongst them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Be not ye transformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is the perfect will of God. Who are you proving that to? And uh, Ezekiel 3, verses 4 on to verse 9. And he said unto me, Son of man, Go! Get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech or of an hard language, but to the house of Israel. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language, whose words thou canst not understand. <laughs> I love this. Surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. What do you mean? I'm, what do you mean? You think Dahmer's in heaven? And you think I'm lost because I just believe? 
What do you mean? You think I'm lost? I was confirmed. I was baptized. I can say it. What do you mean? But the house of Israel will not hear, will not hearken unto thee. They will not hearken unto me. And we are ambassadors for Christ. Okay? For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard hearted. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. As an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks. Oh, they be a rebellious house. Look, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm all for witnessing, tracting. You know, we, we set aside time so we can do that. For example, tracting Tuesdays, okay? You know, if, if, uh, if the Lord doesn't have uh, your servant here in the scriptures getting ready for this, or spending time with my wife, talking to the brethren, answering questions. We're, we're out there doing what we're supposed to do as ambassadors, okay? All right? Sitting here doing this is not all there is to this. And you know, you're called to preach, okay? Called to preach, okay? Sorry, writing this down so I don't forget it, okay? But brethren, people, there comes a time when you have to separate yourself and be like, okay, that dude doesn't want to hear it. Get away from him. You don't invite lost people into your fellowship. You go to them. You don't bring any, anybody, just anybody in who wants in. Okay, talk with them, yes. But like with this fellowship kind of thing and these ridiculous live stream things, it's a joke. It's a joke. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching this if you do. Hopefully this, hopefully this will admonish some of you. It's like, you know, you know, I know for example, I, I know of some brethren who... Uh, they're like, I keep talking to him. It's like, dude, if he's not listening, you've been an example. You've been a witness. You're a witness every day at work to him. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. It's like, hey, come over here. Just, it's like, no, you guys, <laughs> you, you, you up the dosage. I'll, I'll sit over here, eat my sandwich, and read my book. Okay? Leave him alone. You know, the Titanic is going down and we're shoveling coal to the boiler. And we want to be used of the Lord for His glory to reach as many people as the Lord can and will. But it's a perilous times. And evil is good to today's standards. So just beware of this stuff, brethren. Keep this in your minds. And watch out! Watch out for some of these Christian live streaming guys uh, and, and women. <laughs> okay, they, they're 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 just it's a joke. It's a joke. So anyway, I've got got a lot of uploading and editing to do. So thank you, brethren. Please keep us in your prayers as we pray for many of you. We love you. Thank you for watching this. If you do, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.